Thanks to a slick opening that includes nostalgic narration and busted tracking on the VCR visual effects, the first minutes of Alien Isolation are far better than any piece of last year's dreadfully disappointing Aliens Colonial Marines. Hey, that's pretty good. But by the end of the 15 to 20 hours I spent with this mono-e xenomorph survival horror show, I wish I'd stopped after the first half dozen. What? What the fuck? Unfortunately, the campaign mirrors the Sevastopol itself. The longer it drags on, the more it falls apart as it tumbles out of orbit and towards a gas giant. Ripley's nightmare became my own as isolation moved its goalposts back so many damn times that I had to laugh. <laughs> There's an oddly extended alien free stretch midway through that pits you against aggro androids instead of organic terrors. Though the hide and seek gameplay remains the same, the scares disappear without the singularly lethal force stalking you. Hey, hey, I, I got it. Out the way, out the way, out the way, out the way, out, out the way, out the way. I swear to God. Unfucking believable. Smother a flame instantly. Yeah. It's disappointing that in the late game, Isolation simply spends hours making you run a funless gaunt I'm getting really sick of you! ...and contend with everything it's thrown at you so far simultaneously, rather than throw a new gameplay twist at you. Fright dissolved into frustration as I got killed from behind for the umpteenth time, even as I was crouched motionless and out of sight in an air duct. The survival horror joy found in the campaign's early hours is completely and permanently erased. Even when you finally, FINALLY reach the end, it's an underwhelming conclusion that doesn't adequately pay off the 20 hours you just survived. Oh, and the main menu actually recommends that you play on hard difficulty. Here's a pro tip, DON'T DO THAT! Minimize the alien's keen senses and it'll minimize your pain. There's nothing to wear. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. Just to complain that a game's too long. But when the genuine scares of being hunted by an unstoppable predator are so diluted by repetition and padding... What's this? Huh? What's this, motherfucker? What's this? Isolation's epic length really does work against it. Someday, someone is going to make an incredible alien video game that checks every box. But sadly, Isolation is not it. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. For more on Alien Isolation, you're already in the right place. IG.